Hello, I am Zsolt Bíró. I am president of the Hungarian Ophthalmological Society and head of the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Pécs, Hungary. The video you are about to watch is titled How Can the 3D Printer Help an Ophthalmologist Surgeon? by Dr. Sergio Canabrava from Brazil. Ophthalmologists and ophthalmology often do pioneer work in many fields of medicine. Just think about keratoplasty, laser treatment, stem cell transplantation, gene therapy, and so on. Watching this video, I am convinced that ophthalmology once again plays an important role in applying new methods and technology. And I had the feeling that the future has already arrived in ophthalmology. Dr. Canabrava is talking to Jarvis, a robot endowed with artificial intelligence, and asks him to produce a pupil expansion ring with a 3D printer. The first model was not very good. However, the second model proved to be OK and was successfully used in pig's eye first and later on in a real patient's eye as well. The printed pupil expansion ring can be easily implanted and removed with Sinsky hook and McPherson's forceps. And is, it needs no extra paracentesis, no injector. It is cheap and can be re-sterilized. The produced device was made of VisiJet biocompatible material, but it can be produced from different materials. Titanium, nylon, synthetic materials can be used for 3D printing in different size and shape. If the size or shape is not appropriate, one can easily change the parameters in the computer and reproduce or reprint the final appropriate device. The 3D printer is definitely a breakthrough and a revolutionary invention of the 21st century. Digital drawings planned by computer can be created into real objects with a few clicks. I congratulate to this video, which highlights different opportunities for ophthalmologists. I would recommend to watch this video for all of my colleagues, and it should be highlighted that the author opens the door to try this technique for everybody free of charge. Thank you very much. The producers have no financial interest to disclose. How can the 3D printers can help us? Mm. I can make a ring. I think it's a ring is a good idea. It's a good idea. Okay. Jarvis, start please. Wake up please. Let's make a ring now. Just make sure, Dr. Canabrava, do you want me to produce an iris extension ring for small pupil with a 3D printer? Yes, Jarvis, that's it. Good idea, Dr. Canabrava. The 3D printer is the future of the medicine. Maybe we can begin a new era in ophthalmology device. Charles, first, can you explain me kind of material can I use in this ring? Dr. Canabrava, we can use a VisiJet. Okay. This is a biocompatible material okay. and the resistance good. is good to produce the device. I understood. Number one, please. Dr. Canabrava, first, we may try this model. It has a diameter about 6.5 mm and a height of 1.2 mm. Mm. I don't like this one, Jarvis. I don't like. Yes, you are right, Dr. Canabrava. You can see from this first model at the video simulation how it is not possible to insert the ring and the eye. Dr. Canabrava, how about rotating the parts of the ring and bake like a gear? With this idea, I can produce a ring that has a 0.6 mm high and maintaining a diameter of 6.5 mm. Let's start the test, please. 
Dr. Kanabrava, at this moment I'm printing the ring and after I will start the tests in the pig's eye. The test in the pig's eye was perfect, congratulations! Good test, Charles, good test in the pig's eye. Let's go to the surgery. You can explain to me the surgery. First, you use a Siski hook or a McPherson forceps to insert the ring in the eye. Okay. With the ring in the eye, insert one part at a time. When you finish the surgery, use a Sinsky hook to remove the ring from the iris and after, use the McPherson okay. to remove the ring from the eye. Okay, and part. Oh, one more thing. See the real patient eye. Jarvis, can you hear me? I'm starting the surgery now. Take a look. It is really easy to insert in the eye. I'm using a Sinsky hook and McPherson forceps. I'm inserting the Sinsky hook in the rings hole and inserting one part at a time. Jarvis, I'm starting a new step of the surgery. It's so stable to make a capsule axis. Now, let's make a FACO emulsification. The ring didn't touch the capsule bag and everything occurs normally. Jarvis, I'm happy. I will implant the IOL. It is easy to implant and to manipulate the IOL inside the eye with the ring. Now I'm removing the ring from the eye smoothly. Oh, a little problem Jarvis. Normal for the first surgery. but I can easily fix it. Ok Jarvis, we have finished the surgery. Good job Jarvis, good job. Dr. Canabrava, take a look at the patient in the fourth post-operative day. Good job doctor, good job. Advantages Eliminates the need to make several extra paracentesis. Eliminates injector low cost, price of 5 cokes, more resistant than other device, safe and sterilize in ethylene oxide with a simple box, possible complications, to break inside the eye, not possible to polish like manufactured devices. The 3D printers can use a lots of kinds of material like titanium, nylon and synthetics.
that are uncountable possibilities to produce device to any area of ophthalmology. The idea has been launched, and we don't know what is about to come. If you want to make a free test, go to www.canasring.com and make an archive download and print in a 3D printer in your country.